review the Sungrow 5 kilowatt uh, on-grid inverter. Looks like this. It has a screen on top there. So this is a little bit higher quality inverter, higher price if we compare to other inverters that are available in the Asian market. Now it has, has a heatsink integrated. You can see the heatsink here. This is a really nice design because it makes for natural cooling. Uh, so this is a design that many inverters use now, uh, and it's a proven design that's uh, really good. Because obviously all inverters, they uh, have a lot of heat generated when they are uh, converting uh, DC electricity to AC electricity. So if we start on the side here, we have the DC switch. This actually used to be external. But on newer inverters, it's internal on the inverter, and that's much better. So it basically just cuts off uh, all electricity from the roof, which is uh, very good when you want to do work. Or you know, if you want to restart the system, you can also switch off the electricity from, uh, from the roof. And then we have the, what we call the MPPTs. So we have two strings there. This is one string, plus minus. That's how DC electricity works, is plus minus. Um, it's completely different from AC, where you have a neutral and a live. So here we have plus minus. So we have one string coming in here, and then another string coming in here. So, and this is why this is important, is because you can use two directions on the roof. If it had only one, the, the best way would, to, would be to use only one direction on the roof, but because it has two, you can use, for example, east and west. Or you can put everything south, uh, and this gives you flexibility. Uh, most inverters, 5 kilowatt, have two now. Uh, there are actually some that have three, but that's very unusual. So to have two is standard and good enough. So if we look uh, further on, we have communication, and we have AC, and we have also the Wi-Fi dongle. So the Wi-Fi dongle, we can see here, and this is actually where this inverter shines, because you have possibility both for Wi-Fi and for, for cable. And many inverters, they do not have that possibility. They only have possibility for Wi-Fi. So... And why is that important? Well, it's important if your internet router is far from the, from the inverter, because it's difficult to get the Wi-Fi signal to a long distance. That's one case where it's much better to run a cable. The other is if you're planning a change of the internet, or most people do that. They change internet if you look on the long term, let's say five, 10 years, most people are going to have a change either in the router or in the internet provider itself. And then if you have the cable connected, you just move the cable that's connected to the internet router and from the old router to the new router. And that's it, finished. If another inverter does not have this capability, then you have to change the password in the system and change the way it's connecting to Wi-Fi. That is why this is a great feature. It does come with a price though, because like I said, this is on the higher range of inverters in regards to price. But you get features like that, and also supreme build quality, uh, and you can oversize up to 7.5 kilowatt on the roof. What does that mean? It means that even though it's a 5 kilowatt inverter, you can put more on the roof and this inverter will handle it. So you actually optimize the system. You get more value for money. And that's very good. It's a very good feature that you should use as an installer. Uh, so it's a great inverter. Here we have the smart meter, which is also very good, uh, which comes together. Uh, with the inverter is made by Sangro. So you don't have to think about, is this is called a CT. You don't have to think about, is the CT correct or not? Or it is correct because it's delivered by Sangro. Same with the meter, delivered by Sangro. You know it has the correct spec. You don't have to worry about that. So installation is quite easy. Um, 
That being said, this is really not an inverter for DIY, I would say. Why is that? Because it has a quite complicated setup uh, um, configuration when you go into the on-grid, into the setup. You have a lot of parameters. So if you don't have experience, it can be quite confusing. So that's why this is a really good uh, inverter for professional installers. But it can be confusing for the guys that are playing and installing themselves. Uh, I'm not going to say that it's impossible for DIY guys, absolutely not. But have in mind that it's more complicated. But the flip side of that is that you have access to a lot of parameters. You can change a lot, but you have to be aware that you need some time to understand how to change, what the parameters mean. Uh, every manufacturer have their own language, uh, so to speak, what the different parameters mean. And this inverter also has more protection parameters, uh, things that is able to protect the system. If there's an arc fault or something like that, this inverter has processes that protects uh, your electrical system and the inverter from uh, failure and from fires. So it's a lot of good stuff uh, to say. Uh, if we look at the negative, I would say it's the price, uh, but nothing is perfect. So. Uh, that comes up to the personal choice if you want to focus on on budget or features and oversizing. Of course, if you don't need the oversizing, if you ha have a small system where the budget is more important, then maybe this inverter is not for you. But if high quality and also warranty and that it works properly a long time, then this is definitely a very good choice. Um, and also it comes with a 10 years warranty. Uh, and that is sort of the new standard now. 10 years warranty, the big manufacturers give that, but many manufacturers don't. So you have to compare. Obviously then the cheaper inverters will most often have a five year, five year warranty. Okay, so that pretty much wraps it up for this uh, SunGrow five kilowatt inverter, single phase. So this is a great, uh, great inverter.